Hey guys, welcome to Man City Fan TV. This is Kiam, and it's another episode of FIFA Knows. It's Brighton against Manchester City from the Amex Arena on the south coast down in Brighton. It's the series where we try and predict the result of Man City's next real life fixture by playing a game of FIFA. So let's see if we can uh, get it right this time. Last time out, I think we had uh, Newcastle 1, City 1, and City ended up smashing Newcastle by five goals to nil. So FIFA wasn't very accurate in the last one. So we're gonna try and redeem ourselves today and get the correct score on FIFA. So it's gonna be interesting to see what team Pep actually picks for this game. Uh, I know in the last fixture against Newcastle, he played John Stones. I don't expect to see John Stones again. I must admit, I thought playing John Stones in the last fixture was a little bit of a uh, transfer tactic, probably just putting him in the shop window, dangling the carrot in front of Newcastle, hoping that Newcastle may be coming and buy John Stones when they get their windfall, if the takeover goes through. So we'll see. But this is the team I think Pep is going to actually go with. Edison in goal, Walker at right back, Fernandinho, Laporte and Mendy. In the midfield, De Bruyne, Gundogan, Foden. Then up front, Bernardo, Gabi and Raheem Sterling. So that's the team I think Pepe's going to pick for this game. So remember, guys, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification as well if you want to get all the content from Man City Fan TV. Remember, you have to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification. Martin will be doing a watch along as well for the game so remember to look out for that uh, watch along live on the channel with Martin so look out for announcements because Martin's watch alongs are always fantastic always good for a little bit of debate while the game's going on you can get on there and slag players off like I do have a go at Mares, have a go at Walker anyone you want to have a go at you can no, I'm only kidding don't have a go at players support the players it's only me that can have a go at them because I'm a grumpy git. So here we go anyway, we're underway. Mendy plays it into Foden. De Bruyne with the shot, fires it in. And De Bruyne there with a bit of a rocket. And he picked up a bit of a knock, didn't he, after the Newcastle game towards the end. So I'm hoping, you know, he is fit enough and he's okay for this match against Brighton. I think he should be okay. He looked, he looked like he'd recovered when he was walking off, but... I don't know, it's difficult to see, tell, isn't it, until they've uh, actually been to the physio and been checked out. So, here we go, Mendy into Phil Foden. Plays it into Gabby, good ball to Gabby. Foden's got it back to Stockport Iniesta. Stockport Iniesta with the shot. And Foden has been fantastic, and he, since he come, well, since the uh, football returned after the break, I think Foden has just been fantastic. Great ball through. Ball back there. Oh, no, too hard. Smashed that one across the box, but way too hard. It's all City at the start. 15 minutes gone on this FIFA nose, and we're absolutely battering them here. It's going to be a good ball in, and it's Foden. Phil Foden, and it's the stop port Iniesta. Phil Foden, who gives City the lead in this one. 1-0 one to City. Get in there. Phil Foden with the opening goal. And that's the kind of start we want against Brighton. It's going to be a tricky away game. Brighton still fighting, still fighting for the lives. Uh, I mean, it's, it's tight down at the bottom. They probably have enough points, but they're going to want to win against us. But that is a fantastic finish there by Phil Foden. And it's 1-0 to City on this FIFA nose. Get in there. Stop porting the Esther. 1-0. Come on. And I think, to be fair now, I think Phil Foden has actually cemented his place for, for me. I think when David uh, Silva retires at the end of the season, I think Foden has to start. He has to be our regular starter in that position. I think he's looked really good. He works hard. You know, he's got the skill, he's got the ability, he's got the, that brain. Also as well, you know, he's a, he's a City fan, isn't he, at the end of the day? So you, you don't get much more uh, passion and commitment than one of your own supporters. And there we go, Foden again. Lays it out. Gundogan with the shot. Ooh, Ilkay Gundogan there, the little rasper on the edge of the box. 
and Gundogan. I think Gundogan's going to be quite an influential player for us in the Champions League. I know that might sound a bit weird because I'm not... Well, I like Gundogan. I think he's a neat and tidy football. I'm not his biggest fan. You know, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to go out and get a poster of him for my bedroom wall or anything. But I think Gundogan is the kind of player that does well in the Champions League. You know, Champions League teams tend to, to sit off a little bit more. So you need players who are comfortable on the ball, can pick out a pass. And I think Gundogan is going to be the man. If he can stay fit, he might be the man. Here's Raheem Sterling now down the left-hand side. Here comes Raz. Look at the speed of Raz. No one's keeping up with Raz. He's going to fire the shot in. Raheem Sterling, 2-0 to City. There was no one catching Raheem Sterling then when he got away. And it's 2-0 to the mighty Blues on FIFA knows. Get in there. And what a goal that is. They're celebrating there in the away end. Obviously, there'll be no fans in the stadium, which is a shame. But that's a great finish. And Raheem Sterling in those positions usually uh, faffs it a little bit, doesn't he? But nice and composed. Picked the corner and fired it past the Brighton keeper. 2-0. We're absolutely cruising on this one. 2-0 up after 33 minutes. Brighton are going to come back at us. Try and keep them out before half-time here. We don't want to give a silly goal away. We don't want a Southampton-type performance, do we? Let's be honest, Blues. That was an absolute dire game of football to watch. And only City can come up with a performance like the Southampton one when we're live on telly. Oh, De Bruyne's in now. Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, it's a great save from the keeper. But yeah, only City can put in a performance away at Southampton when we're live on the BBC with five million people watching us and we get beat. Typical City is still alive, but let's hope we don't have typical City against Brighton. Get this corner in, comes in. Oh, nearly nod it down, Gabby. It's a good ball, De Bruyne fires the shot. Oh, smashed off the crossbar. Absolutely rasp that one. The crossbar is still shaking. Oh, I thought it was 3-0 for a moment. Brighton tried to get us on the break. And Brighton, you know, they're a weird team, aren't they? They're not. They can be okay on the day. They can be a handful, but we should be able to beat Brighton. I mean, Brighton are the kind of team that upset Arsenal, aren't they? Oh, Gabby, nice turn. Gabby with a little shot. Yeah, Brighton are the kind of team that... They're not really going to trouble the top, top teams like City and Liverpool. But against the likes of, you know, even United, the likes of Arsenal, that sort of top four tier, top six tier, then they, you know, they can upset them. So you've got to be careful on the day. So there we go, 2 0 at half time on this FIFA nose. Remember, guys, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification if you're new to the channel. We have lots of FIFA content on the channel. Go over and take a look at our career mode series as well if you haven't. Watch the career mode series. Go over and take a look at that. And it's going to be interesting next season to see what we do in terms of uh, transfers. There's a lot pending on the cast decision. But we will, we will see. Here's Foden. Great ball into Gabby. Oh, Gabby tried to overplay it there. And Gabby Jesus, it's, a, it's such a strange one with Gabby. I, I absolutely love Gabby. I love his work rate. I love what he offers to the team. I just wish his finishing was a little bit more composed. But I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can train that into a player. Finishing is something that comes naturally. So maybe we do look at, you know, have to look at moving him to the left maybe to replace Leroy Sani or if not then we need to go out and actually buy a proper striker and maybe get some money for Gabby and I'd, you know and I don't like saying that but if Juventus or some of these clubs are interested in Gabby and we can get 70 million or something along those lines then why not we can probably go and replace him with a, a, a you know a potent goal scorer so we'll see I'd love to maybe 
test Dortmund's resolve and go for uh, Haaland. You know, why not? Why not? If we got 70, 60, 70 mil for Gabby and then, you know, add, a, add what, 30 million quid to that and get yourself Haaland and he's a goal scoring machine. And obviously the son of an ex-City player as well, so would be a great opportunity for him. But Brighton here still fighting. We've not killed them off yet. Two goals, 64 minutes on the clock. Get a foot in there, Kyle Welling, Kyle Walker. It's a good ball, and Raheem Steele, he's made a great run there. Raheem Sterling again, he's already skinned him once. Oh, no, it could be a penalty ref. Oh, referee. Oh, come on, that's a penalty all day long. Only City can not get a penalty in that position. All day long, Stonewall penalty. De Bruyne has won it back here, though, and this could be the opportunity. Oh, what's that from Bernardo? Absolutely scuffed it wide. I don't know what I was trying to do. I was trying to bend it a little bit to get it in that corner, but I think I uh, got a bit of trigger finger on my joypad. That was a right, uh, a right scuff, a shank, as they say. This is good football now from the Blues. Here comes uh, Bernardo. Can he redeem himself? Bernardo. Oh, great save from the Brighton keeper. That was a better shot from Bernardo. And here comes Raheem Sterling again. Raheem Sterling's been good in this one. Back to Kevin. He's going to go back through. Oh, the one two was on there. It wasn't quick enough from Gabby. Right, and try to snatch one. If they snatch one now, it'll be interesting. Here comes Kevin. Plays it into Ilkay. Kevin De Bruyne, Gabby on the edge of the box, he's made a run, look at that, oh, the volley was on, it was the stop point in the Phil, the volley was on, it was all laid up for him, look at that, so unlucky, probably didn't need to put so much power on it, could have been three there, that would have been game, set and match, we're going into the last ten minutes here now, on this FIFA nose, can we add another goal, bit of icing on the cake, Comes Gabby again, Gabby Jesus into Kevin, Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, Kevin De Bruyne, he doesn't miss those, does he? 3 0 to City, Kevin De Bruyne, super Kev, get in there. 3 0. There might not be fans in the ground, but he's celebrating anyway. I don't know why he's run over to a corner to celebrate when no one's in the ground, but he has. And look at that little layoff. Gabby Jesus lays it off and Kevin De Bruyne first time bang in the corner and it's 3-0 to City on this FIFA nose. Come on now, let's see. Can we, have we got time for another one? We've got the measure of these, haven't we? Have we got time for another? You never know. That's a great ball and Bernardo's in. And Gabby could be on this, Gabby. Oh, it's a great ball into Gabby. Walker, and I think if I'm being honest here, Brighton have had enough of us today. It's going to be a corner to City in injury time. Can we add a fourth goal? Oh, I tried to lay it off there with Laporte, it wasn't happening. It's a throw in to City. Dying seconds of the game. Let's try and get one more chance. We're going to have to get it up quick. Here's Gabby. Could be one more opportunity. Kevin. Oh, there was one more opportunity. Might be another. Sterling with the ball in. And Brighton here, they're like a boxer who's out for the count. They've had enough and the whistle goes. 3-0 to Manchester City on this FIFA nose. It was one-way traffic. Absolutely battered Brighton there. And let's hope that's the result, guys. Let's hope we get a result like that in the real game. So Manchester City 3 Brighton nil on this FIFA nose. A huge thank you to everyone for watching. Remember, go over and watch the uh, watch along, watch the preview uh, for this as well. 
go over and watch the watch along with Martin. Martin's going to be doing a live watch along of Brighton against City. So go over and take a look at that. But thank you for watching FIFA Knows, guys. It's a 3-0 win to Manchester City. Enjoy the game and all the best. Take care.